Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I'm going to be hunting weapon plans, or more specifically, I'll be showing you locations where you can hunt for them yourself. So weapon plans are a little different versus, say, armor plans. With armor plans, you could find them in lots of different locations as loose spawns in the world, like on top of shells, on top of desks, on top of barrels, things like that. With weapon plans, I only know of a couple of locations where you can actually find them as loose plans on top of things. Everywhere else has to do with containers. So spot number one is the Charleston Herald building, which is right behind me. And that is right here, right, uh, right by the river there. You can see the Capitol, there's Charleston Station. Now what you want is to actually, well actually from the spawn point, you just follow the arrows. It'll take you right inside the door here. And what you want is the third floor. And you'll know you'll be at the third floor because you won't be able to go any higher. And it basically to switch back, you'll have a ramp here, a ramp there, and then another one. And usually inside the building, you're gonna find Scorch, Super Mutants, Ghouls. I think I've seen Mole Miners here. It's not that many enemies, but it will be, it will vary. And there's usually only three or four, it's not that many. So this will be the last floor. So what we want is the editor, the editor's office inside here, and it'll be on the table. It'll actually be right here. We didn't get lucky, we didn't get a spawn here. All of this, all the locations I'm showing you, it's a chance to spawn, there's no guarantee. But what I have is a picture of the last time I found a plan here, and it was the pump action shotgun, which is actually pretty lucky. That's a plan you cannot buy. It only is a random a random spawn. So that's, a, that's one reason to do this rather than looking for NPC vendors because not all plans are sold. The laser plan, that's another one that you can't, you can't buy, but this is a common spawn point for it. Another thing about the loose weapon spawns, if you find one that you don't want, maybe you don't, it's not the one you're looking for or you already know it, do not pick it up because if you do, it is part of your picked up items list. You will have to reset your list, which is 255 items, I believe, before it'll spawn again for you. So if you see a plan you're not looking for, just ignore it. Then when you server hop, you'll have a chance for a different plan to spawn next time. So the next location we're going for is in Clarksburg, but the way I like to get at it is actually go to the uh, fast travel to the shooting club, which is right here. We have the robot, he gives you a daily quest, but from the spawn point, it's that building right there that you see. That's why I do here, because if you fast travel to Clarksburg, you'll actually be on the other side of town. So this is just a little closer. Might save you a few seconds. Now up top there, they're in that, uh, you can see the room up there. There's a couple of robots and there's a spot for an armor plan spawn. That's not what we're going for today, so we're going to ignore that. But we want to go around here to the back of the weapon shop, or the rather the gun shop. There's a level zero door. Oh, and that is the thing. You will need uh, hacking, at least for this location. For every other place we're going, you're going to need lockpick. So we just want to go through the door. There'll be a couple of robots in here. Maybe an iBot could be a Protectron. That's usually uh, what's there. See, we got an iBot here, and there'll be another one right there. There's usually just two. And you want to go down the stairs and behind the counter, and you want to actually go in this room, and here's where the hacking comes in. It's a level two terminal, and that's the only way you can, well, that's the only legit way you can get through the door, <laughs> is what I'll say. Uh, there's no way to lockpick it, but you just do that, and... Uh, there we go. And what you're looking for is actually on this shelf right here. It's this uh, second from the top. And you can see the last time I was here, I have a picture on the screen for you. I found a cultist dagger plan. All right, so now we are on to containers. The first location is actually the, the only one that you can't fast, at least the only one that I'm gonna show you that you can't fast travel directly to. And that is the Red Rocket Mega Stop. I either, I'll usually go here to the Pumpkin House. You could also go to Vault 94. You could even go to Freddy's, uh, Freddy Fear's House of Scares, and then you just run over there. So at the Red Rocket, what we want is actually this room right here, which is usually got robots in it. I'm on a private server, so everything will be spawning. Uh, but this is on the eastern, eastern side of the property. You can see there's the edge of the property. So it's the last building that you want. Something to, to know about this location, because it is a workshop, if somebody else owns it, because we are dealing with lot containers, if you open a container and somebody else owns the workshop, you will become wanted. Guess how I found out. So the first, uh, there's actually two containers here. Now this is the one uh, this one I have not been able to verify. I've opened it and I've never found a weapon plan in, in it, but because it's right next to the other, the other safe that I know does have a plan, I'm just showing it to you now. Maybe we'll get lucky. No, I never find anything in here, so I don't even know if a weapon plan can actually spawn. But what we actually want is in this office right here, behind the desk, this uh, safe right here. Now, hopefully I get a little lucky. I, I don't want to have a bunch of empty containers, but... Uh, this is the first one, and nothing here, but you can see the last time I was here, I found a plan for a flamer. The next location that we want is the Monongah Power Plant, and this one is very quick and very easy. It's just from the spawn point, 
You want to go right here to this first guard shack, and if you've ever played Nuclear Winter, you know exactly where I'm going. Right here on the floor, there is a level three safe. Now, all of these uh, locations will have level three safes, so you will need level three lockpick or master infiltrator. And this time we got nothing at all. I mean, we got various bits of things, but you can see the last time I found a combat shotgun plan. Now these containers, they're just like the loose spawns in the world. If you see something you want or you don't want in here, don't grab anything because if you take anything from the safe, it's going to have to reset your items list before you can pick up anything, before you have a chance for another thing to spawn. So if you see a plan in here, even if there's ammo that you see, just don't grab anything. If you want to, if you want to keep uh, server hopping, if you want to check this location over and over again, don't grab anything from here unless it's the plan you're looking for. The next stop is going to be Seneca Rock's Visitor Center. And from the spawn point, you'll see you'll be looking at the back of a trailer and you aren't going very far. You are just gonna run up the hill or you can walk, it's up to you, or you could fly. But we're just going to this first house right here. Go around to the porch and get stuck on a rock. Go through the door and then to your left, we are looking at this little safe right here on the wall. And inside, nope. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it is. When I make videos, nothing wants to spawn for me. But you can see, last time I was here, I found the plan for the Super Sledge. Now we're at a location that will have multiple safes. So we are starting at Pleasant Valley Cabins. So this is the spawn point. We actually just want this first house down the hill. This is the one that has turrets in it. Usually turrets on the ceiling. Yep, you can see turrets right there. And there's usually a couple of Scorched as well. So don't uh, forget this turret. And there's actually a turret back here in this back room where we're going. It is, oh, there we go. <laughs> now we have all the turrets. And where we're going is this safe right here next to the bed. It's got a radio on top. Go ahead and open that up. And of course, there's no plan in there. But you can see when I was here before, I found a flamer plan. And now where we're going, we're actually heading straight west for the next location. Just kind of bypass these houses. They'll be scorched and whatever. But we want to keep on going, and it's actually the second to the last cabin. So here's the Raider Arena, if you know where this is. There's a uh, usually power armor and some bodies in there. And we actually want the next house, which is this one down here, on the other side of the Raider Arena. And usually there are four Scorched in there. This is one way to deal with them, just shoot through the walls, but or shoot through the window, rather. But when we go inside, we want to go around and up the stairs all the way to the back where the uh, bed is. And on the wall, there is a safe. Inside the safe, there is no plan. But you can see before when I was here, I found a plan for a plasma gun. And the next location is actually just the next, uh, the next cabin over. There's usually a couple scorched in here, but you wanna go all the way to the top floor. And there is a safe right here. And inside we find nothing, but you can see the last time I was here, I found a plan for Revolver. I think Revolver is, that may be Western Revolver. I don't remember, I think the, I think Revolver plan is Western Revolver. Uh, but yeah, I found that here before, but of course nothing, nothing because I'm recording. And the next spot is actually the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. And it's this, uh, the main building here, the one that has the, uh, the Protectron upstairs that sells stuff. Is it up? No, it's not upstairs. It's on the main level, but you have to go upstairs and then downstairs. Inside, they'll be scorched, of course. And basically, you want to do is go up the stairs, go in the door, go up the stairs or the ramp or whatever it is. And you want to actually go all the way to the bottom. So you can take the stairs or you can just jump in between them. Now, this is only accessible if you've done Rose's quest. I think it's, it's either keys or key to the past. That is the quest you have to do. It's her final quest line. Uh, and that'll get you access to this room. It'll get you the ID card. There's no way to get through here, I don't think. I don't think you can uh, do funny business to get through, but maybe you can. And you wanna go, see there's the bellhop right there all the way to the back. And here is a level three safe. And you open it up and of course I'm not finding anything this time around, but you can see last time I found a plan for a death tambo. Now, one thing I want to note is that I'm not showing you every possible level three safe in the world because there are a lot of them. I didn't want to show everything. I wanted to show stuff that was very kind of quick to get to fast travel. Maybe you have one or two enemies and then you're right there at the container. Uh, that's what I wanted. Plus, I only wanted to show you things where I actually verified that a weapons plan could actually spawn inside. Next up, we have Appalachian Antiques, and this will have a couple of ghouls. That's about it. But from the spawn point, what you want to do is go, you're looking at that door, the one that's already open with the uh, the sign above it. Usually there's a ghoul, well, usually there's a ghoul right inside the door, not this time. Nope, nothing. All right, so what you want is behind the counter where the cash register is, and it's just right here on the floor. Open it up, and of course, no plan. But last time I was here, I found a ripper plan, which is actually one of those ones that, uh, the only one that I know sells it is Graham. Other than that, it's kind of a random either event reward or random spawn in the world. So that's kind of a rarish one, nice one to find. 
All right, next up, and you can hear a Scorch Beast in the background, is Drop Site V9. If you've ever done Scorched Earth, you should be very familiar with this location. So there'll be a Scorch Beast. If you're sneaking, usually they won't detect you, but there will be, I think there's usually three Scorched here. Usually one will come out about the time you show up, and then the other two will be inside. It's not a hard and fast thing, but usually there's, uh, there's one. All right, well, I only found one Scorch, so you want to go underneath, you know, inside the building, and we'll have a level zero door right here. Behind the level zero door, there's a fusion core for you, and we'll have this safe. And of course, I didn't find a plan, but you could see last time I was here, I found the plan for the auto grenade launcher. For this next one, you want to start at Charleston Station. We're actually going right here where the tracks cover, uh, cross over the water. Well, there's not water there now, but where there used to be water. That's where we're headed. So from the fast travel spot, we just want to turn around and run up in this direction. You can see the red bridge. We're going to be underneath that. And we're actually headed for that boat that you see right up there. Not this white boat, but the big green boat. Well, I heard super mutants, but I'm not in caution or danger, so they don't know about me. So want to go to the top uh, part of the boat and go inside. And there is a floor safe right here. It's a level three. Now, this is one I had to check a lot of times before I found any plans. I got to the point where I was almost going to give up because I wasn't sure anything could spawn inside of it. And yeah, that's the case this time around, but you can see last time I was here or the final time I found a plan for Knuckles. Now the final stop is going to be Pleasant Hill Cemetery, which kind of a metaphor, I guess, unintentional though. Now this place used to be really good. There used to be, uh, I think three or four level three safes that you could check. Uh, but since Nuka World came to town, some of those were removed and we only have one, at least one that I know of. And what you want is basically just to go all the way down to the bottom level. Now, there will be uh, mole miners here and there. There's usually a, a yeah, I, this, uh, I think this is always a mining headlamp. That's all I've ever seen here is a mining headlamp, but that's not why we're here. And what we want, once we get all the way to the bottom, we want this uh, crypt here that looks like it's uh, had a bit of a fire. And there's always, uh, at least every time I've come here, there's two mole miners inside. Once we dispatch them, we'll go in and we will see our safe. And inside, we'll find... Wow, no plans. I, I got really unlucky with this run. That'll happen, though. If you're hunting weapon plans, uh, checking containers, you may have runs like this where you just find nothing over and over again, and then eventually you get lucky. But you can see, last time I was here, I found the war drum plan. And there you have it, a bunch of locations you can check for weapon plans. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below. And I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.